This is a sample application created using grid layout. It has two columns and three rows. All these are defined using grid layout. I've also added on click listener. For example, if I click on this broccoli, a new activity opens, displays that image of broccoli and its name. I can do the same to onion and then the image and the name is going to be displayed. So I'll leave the others so that once you must how to do these ones, you can be able to do this one by yourself. All this is done using grid layout and it's what we are going to look into. Let us begin by creating a new project. To create a new project in Android Studio, go to files and then new project. Select an empty activity, click next. Give your project a name. For example, I can say grid layout. This will be the name of our project. This will be the package name. This is the save location, the language you are using, and the minimum SDK. Then click finish. So Android Studio is going to load some few libraries, as you can see here. So give it some few minutes or seconds to finish loading. As you can see, it's displaying in the status bar that are importing some libraries, that is Marvels. So it's almost uh, done. So once uh, the Gradle of the Android Studio is done building your project, you'll be able to see your project files here. This is the code editor area. This is the navigation bar. And so to begin, I'm going to start by editing the default properties that are set in Android project. So the first thing that we need to edit is the colors so that we can be able to use our colors that matches this application. So to change the purple to 100, I'm going to have hash 008577. The same color I'm going to have for purple 500. And then purple 700, I'm going to have 005746. And then I'm going to have for our black, it's going to remain like that, and white. It's going to remain like that so we can begin by learning our project and see how it looks like before we add anything so click this learn button remember we are going to implement exactly an application or a sample app like this one so looking at the status bar gradle build is learning It's now indexing, installing, and then it's launching. So as you can see, our application has only Hello World, which is by default set, nothing else. Now, after changing the colors successfully, the next thing that we want to do is to copy our images and paste them in our drawable folder. So to do so, I'm going to copy my images I leave these images on the uh, descriptions or somewhere you can be able to download them. And then I'm going to paste them inside the drawable folder. So as you can see, my images are pasted here. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is to edit my activity main and be able to add our grid layout. So to do so, I'm going to delete this text view the parent is a constant layout and I'm going to give it a background color of hash F3, F3, F3. Inside it, we are going to have our grid layout. For the width, I'm going to give it 0. For the height, I'm going to give it 0 dp. Remember the reason I'm, going, I'm giving it 0 is because my parent layout is constrained and I want to constrain my grid layout. So to do that, 
I'm going to position it at start, start of parent. I'm going to position it at end, end of parent. At the top, it's going to begin at the top of parent, and bottom, it's going to be bottom of parent. So our grid layout is this one. Then I'm going to give it a margin of 10. And remember, our grid layout sample has two, has two columns and three rows. So I'm going to define the number of columns that I need. Column count, two, and low count, I'm going to have three. Inside our grid layout, we are going to have card view. Remember the reason why we are adding card view is that we can have this one, this curvy one. So I'm going to have corner for this one. I'm going to give it height to match parent. I'm going to give it width to match parent. And then I'm going to give it corner radius. And I'm going to give it 15. Um, let's give it the number of lows to occupy. Low width. I'm going to give it 1. The number of columns to occupy. I'm going to give it 1. I'm going to give it also margin. And the margin that I'm going to give it is 5. So, because we have given it the low width and column width, we can replace this one with 0 and this one with 0. I'm going to copy this one. Let's close it well. I'm going to copy this one and paste it here. So, as you can see, right now we have to items i'm going to add another element called elevation and i'm going to give it zero let's give this one also elevation and then i'm going to copy this one and paste it here i'm also going to paste this one so right now we have two columns and two rows but we require the real rows so i'm going to copy and paste and copy and paste so we have created a skeleton of what we need that is two columns and three rows so the next item that we are going to add is the image to add image and position it at center what we are going to do is to define a relative layout here with i'm going to have too much parent for the height, I'm going to match parent, and then I'm going to close it. I'm going to define an image view. Remember, an image view is where we put our image. I'm going to give it a width of 150. For the height, I'm going to give it 150. And then the source for the first one is, remember, it's image source. So I'm going to have the source to be drawable and the first one is block ore. I'm going to position this to the center so I'm going to have center in parent to be true. So as you can see it's uh, centered. I'm going to copy this one since we need the same thing on the second one we only need to change this one to onions then we can copy and paste this one and change this one to cucumber remember we are referencing our drawable here and then we have we can copy this one paste it inside this card view and we have tomatoes I'm going to copy this one too and paste it here. 
we can have the potatoes then we copy this one and paste it here and this one we are going to have is cabbages so let us now uh, learn this application and see what we have built so far so this is our sample app so we can close it the application is installing it's now launching there we are we have the broccoli we have the onion and the other fruits so the next thing that we want to do is create uh, two activities one for displaying the broccoli and the other one for the spring onion so let's proceed let us now add our two activities that is one to display uh, when broccoli is script and the other one to display when onion is script so to do so i'm going to go to my package name and then let click and i'm going to have activity an empty activity and then I'm going to have Blockory and I'm going to say finish. So as you can see, it's added here and its layout file is added here. I'm also going to create a new one, new activity. This is an empty one. And then I'm going to call it onion and I'm going to finish. So we have Blockory and onion activity and in our layout we have activity broccoli and activity onion the next thing is to implement click listener for this one and this one remember the last you guys have to implement this one it will be uh, your task to do the implementation so to do that what i'm going to do is find these views so i'm going to have public fun click listener and then i'm also going to have public fun open blockery activity and then here we are going to have public fun open onion activity to open blockery what i'm going to do is to start activity intent and i'm moving from this one at main activity and i'm going to blockery activity class.java and then the same for onion i can copy that one and paste it here and change my destination to onion here for the click listener i'll go back to my activity main and give these ones ids so what i'm going to do is when you click this image i'm going to give it an id and then i'm going to give an image view blockery this one I'm going to give it an id and i'm going to say image view onion so i'm going to find them within my activity so i'll have the first one that is broccoli so i can have val uh, image broccoli which will be find view by id this is an image view and it's going to have all dot id dot i v blocker and then i'm going to have val image onion which will be find view by id which is an image view all dot id dot i v onion and then i'm going to set image broccoli dot set on click listener and then i'm going to have open broccoli activity 
and then i'm going to have image onion dot set on click listener and then i'm going to have open onion activity this one i'm going to call it inside my on create let us now learn our application and see what we've been able to achieve so there we go if we click on this it opens a new activity nothing gets displayed if we click on this one same but these others nothing happens so what we need to do now is to go to our activity broccoli and define an image view so we'll have an image view that is going to display the image I'm going to give it a hundred dip as the width and the height i'm going to give it a hundred and then i'm going to position it that is start of palant then i'm going to give it end of palant top i want it to be at the center so i can give it top top of palant and then bottom bottom of palant i'm going to give it an id of image view then below it i'll have a text view lab content lab content i'm going to give it top margin of 15 and then i'm going to give it to be top bottom of our image view and then i'm going to center it horizontally that is start start of palette and end head of palette the id i'm going to give it tv name so i'm going to do the same to our onion activity copy these two so i'm going to copy them and then i'm going to paste inside my activity onion so we have the image view and we have the tv name that is the text view so what you are going to do is when we are starting this activity we want to add some data to pass data from one activity to other you put extra and then i'm going to give it the name and the name itself i'm going to have is al dot no, no. this is the name that is block coding and then i'm going also to pass the image name image name and I'm going to have its image name is blow Corey. The same, I'm going to do the same here. When I'm opening the onion activity, I'm going to put extra. And I'm going to pass name. The name is onions. And then also I'm going to put another extra. And this is image name which will be onions so this is how you pass data from one activity to the other now when i go to my broccoli activity i'm going to have private fun init data this is just a function that i'm going to use to get this data so i'm going to have a val get you can say our past data which will be intent dot get extra so i'll have val name which will be past data dot get string you can say get string and the name was name and then this one might be null so i can add this one then i'm going to have val image name which will be past data dot get string and then it will be image name 
So the next thing that we want to do is have two functions. One to set private fun set name and then I'm going to have private fun set image. Set the name what I need to do is to have a val. Remember we have our TV name that is for uh, it's this one ID TV name and then which is uh, find view by ID it's a text view and then I'm going to have uh, all dot ID dot TV name and then I'm going to have actually I can have it here where I'm initializing the data then I'm going to have val TV that is was image view remember it will be find view by ID it's an image view and I'm going to have all dot ID dot image view remember the image view I'm talking about is this one so what I need to do is to have my TV name dot set text it will be name and then we can have image view dot set image resource oops this one requires an int so I'm going to have here get int so when I'm passing data I'll need to put this one instead of a string I'm going to have all dot drawable dot blockery and this one I'm going to have all dot drawable dot onions same so when I get here get in and I'm going to set my image name so I can even remove these ones and now we can learn our application and see this one I'm going to call it here Learn this application. There we are. If I click this one, you can see the image and the name. So let's do the same for onion. So we have already implemented this one. So what we need to do is that uh, just copy this one, the same thing, and then paste it here and then call this one here we can now learn our project again so if I try this one it's working if I try this one it's working so this is what we wanted to implement we have already created a sample application that has enabled us to learn how to position item center how to transfer values or data from one activity to another, how to uh, listen to click within a grid layout. So I'm going to leave the last four items to you so that you can create new activities and you can implement on click listener.